hi guys how you doing so today i'm gonna be doing a video for you guys showing how to make bow hair ties now i know that i already shared a video on the same topic but this diy is going to be completely different it's just really cute and very simple diy and uh, a really nice way to add a bit more something to your everyday hairstyle so i hope you guys enjoy the video So we'll start with paper cutting pattern. Here it's a simple rectangle piece of paper. Measurements are shown on screen. There is this another piece you'll need. I cut it like a leaf. I'll share the template link in description box. So far you're gonna need these two pieces. So let's jump into the second step. Here I'm using a net fabric. You can use any fabric of your choice. I suggest organza net, georgette or silk will be the best suited for such blue hair ties. As you see that I have folded this fabric two times and this way you will have four layers of fabric. So now trace the uh, leaf pattern on this fabric and cut it. As you see that this uh, look something like a calf so that's why we are cutting such piece and this way you will have two layers of uh, this leaf pattern and now we'll cut this rectangle part here I fold the fabric so you will get the two layers you're gonna need such elastic bow or hair clip um, at the end of the video, I'll show you where we can use that. Let's prepare the sewing machine. And yes guys, you're going to need a sewing machine here. So I have this single machine. So here what I'm doing is folding this uh, rectangle piece of fabric uh, um, so that the right side of the fabric uh, is facing the right side. And now just simply sewing it. So you see this was a simple running stitch and now I'm flipping this tube and just make sure that the seam comes in between like this. Now you need to fold this tube this way and then sew it like this. Flip this again so that the rough side goes in. So the first piece is now ready and we'll go and uh, prepare the other one. Here I am doing some settings on my machine for sewing the edges. I didn't change the foot just uh, set a pattern of stitch here and if you want you can do overlocking stitch also. For that you need to um, change the foot. We'll take this leaf kind of pattern and now sewing the edges all around and uh, the stitch pattern that I used here I already showed you uh, it'll look something like uh, overlocking stitch but it's not uh, an overlocking stitch it's simple simply a stitch pattern I'll quickly complete the edges and show you guys how this is gonna look so here you go this is how it's gonna look and uh, I didn't fold the edges, simply run the stitch on raw edges. Now you will gonna need another piece of fabric. Simply do the edges using the same stitch pattern. And you will get a piece something like this. And these are the three parts that you're going to need to make this bow hair tie. So let's make a bow with this part first. 
First you need to fold the piece this way and then make the parallel pleats of similar size from both the sides. So this way uh, it will form a bow and now you need to wrap a thread around this bow. I'm using a needle and thread to stitch and wrap this thread around the middle part of this bow. So the bow is now ready and we'll take the another piece here. This is the another piece. We'll do the same as we did for the bow part. So what I did here is just fold uh, this piece from the middle and then making parallel pleats here so that it will form something like this and then we'll attach these two pieces with this same needle and thread first you need to stitch it and then wrap the thread around the middle part of this bow This is how this bow is now looking so it's time to attach the last piece uh, it's the kind of tube that we made so I'm just wrapping it around uh, the middle part of this bow and we are going to need an elastic bow here so what you need to do is just put the bow here and then wrap the tube over it and here I'm closing the ends by stitching it. So this way this bow is now ready and it's gonna look something like this. These are the perfect pop-up to any outfit or your everyday hairstyle. Here if you want you can attach a hair clip also. So at the back side of this bow just attach a hair clip like this. Uh, if you want you can just keep it like this or maybe just glue it with any fabric glue. Using the same pattern I made another bow. You can try making these bows with different different uh, fabrics like here I used an, a net fabric and a cotton, silk and uh, georgette. So I believe that the organza fabric will also look uh, great when you do the overlock stitch uh, on organza fabric it will give a really nice look uh, on edges. So you can try making these kind of bows with um, organza fabric. I didn't have organza fabric so I tried making these bows with these three different fabrics. And they are looking really cool. And this is it guys, I hope you guys um, enjoyed the video and this DIY. If you do so then you know the drill, like, share, comment and consider subscribing if you are visiting first time on my channel. And I'll be back soon with more exciting DIYs. See you guys, take care.